it's time for part two of our G.I. Joe Classified Series HasLab His Tank review. This time we're looking at the His Tank crew on the way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, figure fans? The way I got it figured back with part two of our HasLab His Tank review. And this time we're going to look at the Cobra His Driver, the Cobra His Tactician, and the Cobra His Gunner, uh, 99, 100, and 101 in the G.I. Joe Classified series. Um, so yesterday, we looked at the His Tank itself. I still have it here. I'm all, all gussied up with all its extra vittles. And, um, you know, obviously, can't really do the His Tank without the figures. So we're gonna hit the uh, the figures pretty quick here, rapid succession. Maybe show them with the tank a little bit, and, uh, and give you give you a final thoughts on each of them. So, starting off ninety nine, the base figure that would have to come with this item, even if we didn't get any of the other ones, the Cobra Hiss Driver. So back in nineteen eighty three. The Cobra Hiss was one of the G.I. Joe vehicles um, in the Real American Hero series that came with a figure. And that figure was the Hiss Driver. This is the classified version of that. And uh, you can see some nice artwork of the Hiss Driver. Got your Cobra Hiss 788 on the side of the package. Has lab on top of the box with Cobra Hiss there. I'm not sure what that is, but a nice little symbol there. And on the back, you have a render of the figure with his um, accessories. You got times two, looks like fisted hands there, a pistol, and a Submachine gun looks like with a bayonet. Um, that I don't think we've seen in classified before this, and then of course, it does have classified series number 99. And you've got some set symbols here three tank piloting, one light weapons, uh, two strength, and to and uh this is uh urban combat so there you go so there's your symbols we're gonna pop this guy open oh you got your semper fidelis serpents on the bottom just notice that but what i was gonna say is there's no tape for these guys you can just sort of pop them open. And you've got your foot locker accessories inside. And you've got your uh, figure coffin with a full color um, picture sort of like right on the front of the box. Ooh. There you go. So we're going to get them out and uh, look at them for a little bit before we move on to the next figure. Okay, so we've got our His Tank Driver out of the uh, cardboard coffin and as you can see I use the these are the plastic sort of um, corner savers they put in the his tank they make great um, mini backdrops to let them stand in there uh, so I put them in there 
And uh, he does come with the four accessories we saw in the back. The submachine gun type weapon, which the magazine does come out. The pistol, which does have blast effect port. And two fisted hands. I'm not really sure why he needs to have those, but hey, whatever. We'll take them, right? Just taking a look at the driver himself. Um, you know, he's pretty cool. He's, he's, he's a pretty nice classified version of the classic Hiss driver. And his articulation is about, you know, about average for a G.I. Joe classified figure. He's not uh, not overly loose, not overly tight. Got a nice sort of control panel thing on his arm. Some diagnostics. The holster. We'll go ahead and holster them up. Hand comes out easy enough. We'll go ahead and stick the fist on there. And even they're like gauntleted. I'm not sure what what he needs them to be gauntleted for, but they are. His tank driver. Go ahead and slide him over here. And next up, we've got the Cobra Hiss Tactician. Um, so I guess he's sort of like a tank commander, I guess. Uh, coordinator of some kind. And he's got all the same stuff on the box. So he comes with literally the same stuff as the uh, his tank driver, since he's definitely just a recolor of that. And this one, um, the fans chose the colors that they wanted for him. And uh, Ron Rudat, I guess there's this, this signature is because it came from the pages of Ron Rudat's notes or something like that. Um, so there you go with that. There you go. So looking at his symbols, um, he also has a three tank piloting, one light weapons, two command, and two urban combat. Popping him out. You can see he's the same figure, but with the selected color scheme as chosen by the fans. Here he is, number 100. We'll get him out. All right, so we got his likewise color artwork there get a close look of him up close 
obviously the same exact figure as the Hiss driver with different colors. So he's gonna have the same exact articulation. And as you saw, he comes with the exact same weapons. So he comes with the two gauntleted fist hands. The same pistol, but with a nice red deco added. And the same machine gun, also with a nice deco added. So in the interest of time, I'm not going to go into all of that. We already know he's the same figure. So we'll move on to 101. The Cobra Hiss Gunner. This is a female figure. We're in the female equivalent of the his tank driver outfit, which means that in a sense you could say she's a the driver and he's the he's the gunner. You know, you could do do either one. Choose your own driver and gunner adventure. Got a nice, nice bit of artwork there with a evil shovel. Obviously, your same Cobra Hiss and everything there. And then you got what she comes with. She comes with a different machine gun, but also the same other weapons as the other two guys, plus the gauntleted fists and a hammer and a shovel so she's really coming with the most stuff as far as her file card we have two marksmen two heavy weapons two strength and two urban combat so there you go similar but different statistics i like that Popping her out of the package. We got her full color artwork with her inside the cardboard prison. As you look at the his uh, gunner close up, and it's a female version of the male. Nice pinless elbows and stuff. She's got the women diaphragm, so she's not bending as far forward or back, but you know, still sufficient. Up pretty good, looks down pretty good. There are no discernible issues on this copy. There you go. Accessories. So her shovel came in this little thing. I just sort of slid it out. So there's the shovel. There's her extra smaller but still gauntleted fists. Here's the evil hammer with like the blade on the back. The same um, machine gun, submachine gun as the Hiss driver. Same pistol as the Hiss driver. 
And then you've got this new submachine gun or machine gun. The drum does come out. I wonder, just for experimentation, we'll take this clip magazine. And the answer to that is sort of. I don't think it's really designed to go in there it's swinging, but it can go in there without falling out. Whatever it is designed to hold this. from the packaging of her. So there you go. So that is your look at the Hiss crew. Um, they're pretty cool figures. Obviously, you know, they're unique to the set and everything, so there's not really reuse uh, outside of the set. These guys are the exact same. And they're all seemingly gang-molded with the same weapons. But, um, but they're nice. I like them. They go, they go very well with his tank. And so, before I sign off on this video, we're gonna sort of interact them with the his tank and uh and then we'll get out of here with some final thoughts okay without going too crazy um i have these guys crewing the his tank and yesterday you know because gung-ho is on a large gi joe classified body i had him in there just to see how he would fit because i had that question um you know eons ago and yeah, he fits in there about as well as you would expect. Um, but you got uh, you got your tactician in place, and you got weapons, uh, the weapon storage. There is unfortunately no really way to, um, you know, to store the magazine. And there's even an extra space for an extra weapon in there if you got one. Got your gunner manning the gunning station. And then, of course, you got your his tank driver. He fits in there. And the uh, the seatbelt will will clip in. I just don't feel like doing it. But uh, but he does fit in there a lot better than Gung Ho does. So just a quick interaction with the figures in the his tank itself. Let's go to final thoughts. Final thoughts. On G.I. Joe Classified Series number 99, 100, and 101, His Tank Driver, His Tank Tactician, and His Tank Gunner. Uh, these figures are great figures. Obviously, they belong with the His Tank, especially the His Driver. Um, the His Tactician is a repaint, and the His Gunner is a female version of the His Driver. And uh, I really like them. I think they're, you know, I think they're great. They're obviously what they're supposed to be. Um, if I had any, any, uh, any complaint, I guess what I would say, or criticism, 
is that this this machine gun it goes in his hand well enough i guess but the handle is like really thick so it kind of is difficult to to work with but it's not the flimsy um rubbery plastic so there's that this one's a little bent but i think i bent it myself uh on his driver this one is not bent um a pretty cool accessories particularly with the gunner and um you know i think they're they're great figures there's no reason not to give them tens um you know they come with the his tank you're not going to really see these guys outside of that um so for the his his tank driver 10 10 and 10 um you know very happy to have them i like the idea that they kind of came up with a crew to go along with the his tank and then of course we've got the 788 fire team uh that supports the tank and eventually we're going to get a techno viper that uh that has a missile launcher that gets towed by the tank so it's you know it's a nice little sub team of cobra unto itself and uh aside from just the wonkiness of the submachine gun i really think uh they're great i did neglect to mention just real quick um that the there is a blast effect port on the submachine gun i don't i'm gonna have to mess around with it Maybe in a future video, I'll, I'll see how well it actually works in there, but there is a port for it. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. So video number two is down, and we've got one more to go for the His Tank proper, uh, soon to be followed by the 788 Fire Team. So um, if you're new to the channel, obviously, um, I hope you're enjoying the content. And you'll subscribe and continue to watch the videos. Um, G.I. Joe Classified series is, is taking over. So if you're a G.I. Joe Classified series fan, you're definitely going to have, always have uh, a reason to return to this channel. Um, in the meantime, everybody stay safe. And I will see you all on the next video. Part 3 of the His Tank. Peace. To be continued on tomorrow's G.I. Joe. The way I got it figured. <laughs>